When you're working on your end-to-end -end test suite with Playwright, there's one thing that you should definitely watch out for, adding flaky test cases to the project. But how can you know that your new test cases aren't flaky? Let me show you my approach to the problem. Here we are in a pretty standard Playwright project, and when we run it, we will discover that there are two spec files, so work in progress spec TS and search spec TS, and overall, we have four test cases. When I now add new tests, or let's say change a test case, like I did just here by adding a new assertion, I usually go back to the command line and run the test cases that I just changed like a hundred times to really make sure that they are working. So in this case, we could now run all the tests included in tests, work in progress, spec TS, and then fire this command manually a hundred times. But what I prefer to do in these situations is use the repeat each argument. And let's say we want to run the tests included in work in progress, spec TS, like 15 times. And now check this out. We're now repeatedly checking and running all the tests included in this spec file so that we can be sure that they're succeeding. So I usually pour myself a coffee, wait five minutes and run the test a hundred times to really be sure that I'm not introducing flakiness into the project. But when we now check the command that I just used, we had to define the test cases or the spec files that we want to run. And I'm usually not doing this. So let's tweak this CLI command. One of Playwright's hidden gems is the only changed command line argument. And when we now run this, you will see that it's also only running work in progress spec TS. But how does it know what to run? The project I'm in here is a Git repository. So when we call Git status, according to Git, we modified tests work in progress spec TS. And this is what Playwright's only changed flag is using. We're also on a separated branch called new test. So let me quickly add our changes commit them with a little short code that I have, git yolo. And now when we run our command again, we are clean here with git status, which means that when we run Playwright with the only changed flag, there is nothing to run because git is clean and there are no untracked or modified changes right now. But now check this out. When you use only changed, you can also compare branches. So when I now call only changed and pass main to it, Playwright will figure out the differences between the main branch and my active working branch here right now, and then run all the spec files that are different. And that's how I do it. Run new and change test cases a hundred times and rely on only change to quickly figure out what you need to run and what changed. And that's it.